every American should feel confident that their deposits will be there if and when they need them. Right now on KKL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles and streaming live, President Biden taking steps to assure Americans their money is safe after two bank collapses. Good evening. Thank you for joining us on KKL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Jeff Vaughn. Well, this morning, stocks in the banking sector, well, they plunged and some customers made a run to withdraw their money. Trading had to stop temporarily on at least 20 regional banks because their stocks dropped up to 80%. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen is live in Studio City now with a look at how all of this is affecting small banks here. Jeff. Pat and Jeff, at one point, the stock price of this bank dropped as much as 70%, and it comes after the flame out of another bank last week. I uh, was very upset for two nights. I couldn't sleep. Patty is worried about her savings that's deposited at First Republic Bank in Studio City. <laughs> Trading of First Republic shares was halted after stocks of the smaller regional bank sank Monday. Some customers withdrew their money to take elsewhere. It would be prudent to... Um, divide up where your assets are. This comes after the sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, which announced nearly $2 billion in losses last week. Economist Dr. Christopher Thornburg says the bank got into trouble when the Federal Reserve raised interest rates, which drove down the value of Treasury bonds that the bank was heavily invested in. You have to sell your securities, but if I sell them, I sell them at a loss. Around the country, customers have lined up at a number of banks because of their concerns. The Biden administration has taken steps to make sure individual and business accounts with Silicon Valley and Signature Banks will have access to their money. Americans can rest assured that our banking system is safe. The president also said taxpayers will not be paying for a bank bailout. The money will come from the fees that banks pay into the deposit insurance fund. Dr. Thornburg says what's happening now has to do with inflation. He says it's not the same as the Great Recession when banks like Washington Mutual had a problem with their loan base. The overall banking system has never been cleaner. Loan delinquencies in U.S. commercial banking system in 2022 were 1.2%. They have never been lower. Even though deposits are federally insured, customers have mixed feelings. I know it's insured for 250000 It's I'm not nervous. I can't lose it all. I, I live by that. In a written statement, First Republic said in part it continues to fund loans, process transactions, and fully serve the needs of clients by delivering exceptional service. And despite the president's effort to calm fears, bank stocks took heavy losses today. We are live in Studio City. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. Okay, Jeff.